welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you this beautiful piece from Thin Hair Thick. And I did a short little video putting it in this cute little updo. I've had this in through the evening and I'm ready to pull her out so you guys can see this cute piece um, and we can talk about the color and everything else. So this is a synthetic piece, an HD heat friendly synthetic piece from Thin Hair Thick and this is the medium length. This gorgeous blonde color is called multi-dimensional blonde rooted. This is very similar um, in shape, length, um, and everything else as another one that I actually reviewed. Um, you'll have to scroll on back to see it, but it was the low lighted dark blonde. Um, so it's pretty much the same with the exception of the color. So the length, um, the specs, you know, what it has to offer as far as HD synthetic, um, pretty much the same. Um, but this time I decided to experiment and see what I can do um, as far as styling goes. Um, it's the holidays, and even if it's not the holidays, we want to be able to style our alternative hair and, um, you know, do fun things with it, do creative things with it, and not be limited in what we can accomplish with our hair. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys today is there are things you can do. Um, obviously this is just one of the many things that you have the capability of doing. Uh, accessories are a huge thing that I love using to change up my style. There are so many cute accessories on the market right now. Um, so many cute clips, chunky beaded clips, um, you know, headbands, all sorts of stuff that you can dress up your style and, you know, have so much fun. Um, headbands, all sorts of stuff. You can get them from all over the place online. Um, get them really cheap, like Walmart, everywhere you can find them. Um, you know, head wraps, headbands. You can uh, wear them to the gym, wear like a sporty headband, all sorts of things. Scrunchies. Um, cute thick headbands these are really popular these days so all sorts of stuff but let's just move on to this hairstyle and kind of disassemble it multi-dimensional blonde rooted we'll kind of talk about that you have your rooted blonde going on here and it's just so dimensional with a variety of beautiful shades all intermixed giving you the most in-depth dimensional Blonde and so as I pull this out, I will show you that um, Better it's kind of hard with this updo being in here. So let's just pull this out And show you guys so what I did with this updo is I just put the headband on and then basically wrapped the hair Around the updo to help hold it into place. I did use a few bobby pins once the hair was where I wanted it to be but other than that that's all I did. Now with this heat defiant synthetic, you can use your heat tools on it. You can curl it, you can wave it, you can straighten it. You can basically do whatever you'd like with your heat tools to shape the hair however you'd like um, to mimic your biological hair. Um, you'd want to use a lower setting. And then if you were to curl or wave it, you'll just want to pin uh, the curl or the wave in place and let it cool so it will hold that shape. Thin Hair Thick has specific care instructions on their website. So if you do get something, then just check that out. Um, it's really wise to just care for your pieces properly so you can get the longevity out of your investments. But um, synthetic hair is really nice because it just doesn't uh, react to the elements. Um, and this synthetic hair is really nice because it doesn't look like cheap shiny Barbie synthetic hair. I really like it. It's really, really pretty. This is a gorgeous blonde as well. Let's look at that. Love the dimension of colors in here. It looks like you have, you know, obviously this graduated root and it, it's done really well, that graduation. Really natural looking. And then you have what looks to be like a goldeny blonde. Um, Kind of like a creamy beigey blonde, possibly like a platinum, all mixed in here. And it's so 
gorgeous. I can't decide if I like this color or the low lighted dark blonde better. It's a hard decision. Uh, you can get away with either if you have darker biological hair because with this dark root, um, if you have, you know, medium to light brown bio hair, you can get away with, you know, blondes sometimes because of that darker root. And then with the other low lighted dark blonde, that was doable as well because of the low lights within that color. So, you know, you have a lot of options with brunette hair because you can stick with the brunettes, but you can look at a lot of variety in blondes because of the popular rooting and balayage and low lighted colors that are out there. And Thin Hair Thick, they have a lot of beautiful colors, both in synthetic options and human hair. So this, like I said, is the medium length in their Heat Defiant Synthetic, and it's between 14 and 15 inches. It comes with this really awesome, beautiful, face framing, choppy kind of um, swingy style to it, but obviously this can be changed up. You can thin it, but I feel like this particular medium length um, Heat Defiant Synthetic uh, that they have available is a perfect density. Um, it's not too thick, it's not too thin, great coverage. In fact, let's do a full turnaround, show you guys the coverage. Keep in mind, like I said, I have dark biological hair, so having good coverage is ideal because I do have that dark hair pe peeping out underneath. I just love the way this frames the face and really just hugs the jawline. It's, I think it's very flattering. Very, very cute cut. I like the length. It's a fantastic length. You can pull this back in a low ponytail as well and you have the band that's covered. I have a low profile wig grip on. That's what I love, but they have a variety of wig grips. They have your traditional wig grip, your low profile wig grip, and then they also have wig grips with a lace front attached. I did do a review with that, so you'll have to check that out. Those are fantastic for people who have, you know, lack of hair right up at the front hairline and they need some assistance with um, just having some hair up there. If they'd like to wear something like a topper, a clipless topper, um, they want to use the biological hair that they do have, but they have trouble with that front hairline. Having a wig grip like that takes away from the issues of trying to blend a topper with a blunt edge with biological hair that just isn't there. All right, so I will take this off. This actually has a double monofilament bottom, so it's nice and smooth down here, and then monofilament top where you have multi-directional parting, it looks like natural hair growth, have a, a good size area for um, creative styling and just basically parting that hair as if it's your own. This piece has three combs, so you can just slide that under your wig grip and have it a lot more secure. You do not have to use the combs with the wig grip, it keeps it nice and in place, but it's just kind of your call what you choose to do. The rest of the base construction is wefted. It is closed wefted, as you can see, because it has this material right here, and that just adds to the, you know, the bulk and the volume and the coverage that this piece provides. This piece is ideal for covering the crown and the sides of your head. Now it's really simple to put on. You'll just put your hair back in ponytail or a bun. Then you will put on your wig grip. You'll want to put the seam of your wig grip facing backwards. Then you will slide your comb, if you wish, under the wig grip. And then put your band over the back of the wig grip, like so. Flip the hair over. Take out your ponytail. Blend your biological hair with the topper hair. And at this point, you can take your comb or your rat tail comb or whatever you wish and shimmy out some of your biological hair to blend in with the topper. On the sides of my hair, I did use a little bit 
of root touch-up powder because um, my hair is just a little bit sparse on each side. Uh, I used some of that when I decided to do the updo. So just to give you guys an idea of the density of my own bio hair around the perimeter. It's not as full as it may look right now, but that root filler, root touch up or fibers does wonders. You can part this hair every which way on the side, do a middle part if you wish. You can pull it back if that's what you'd like to do. Either way, you can accomplish it with these awesome hair pieces. And the nice thing is, is you are not damaging your biological hair. A lot of people that end up wearing toppers, uh, you know, they're already dealing with really fragile bio hair. And when they end up wearing a clip type topper every single day, it adds to their hair loss. It's really hard on their hair and they end up dealing with traction alopecia. Um, I love toppers that have clips but I alternate. I wear wigs, I wear hats, I wear other things. So I don't deal a lot with any sort of traction alopecia, but people who wear them daily, they do. Um, and so this is a great alternative to um, your traditional topper. It gives you the coverage, the beautiful hair, and no pain, no pain. I could go to bed in this, I could sleep in it, I could wear it all day long. Um, this is the type of topper where I get home and I don't necessarily feel like I need to rip it off. There's a lot of pieces that I absolutely love. They're actually quite comfortable. But, you know, you get home and you're just ready to be free. You're ready to be free of it. And with these ones, they're so comfortable that it's like a nice pair of leggings or something that you actually like wearing. Um, this that, That's what this is like for me. It feels great. All right, you guys. So you can get 25 dollars off your purchase over there at Thin Hair Thick using the code THT007. I will have that information down below along with all the links to this topper and all the other toppers that they have. Um, obviously they have a longer synthetic. And then they also have a longer and medium length human hair as well. They have a variety of options as far as their wig grips and other things and information as well over on their website. We'll have their website and all of their other social media platforms um, links down below so you guys can go find Thin Hair Thick and follow them for any additional information or promos or giveaways that they might have coming up. And you guys, um, let me know what you think about this topper and any of the other ones that you have watched. If you have not watched them, um, head on back. I have quite a few reviews on these amazing clipless toppers. I've been happy with the pieces I've reviewed. Um, my last one that I kept, it was a blonde human hair. It's a go-to piece for me. Um, I've recently been sharing some within the past month and um, I'm going to pick one out of the uh, ones that I've reviewed that might match the best. So if you guys have an idea of what one um, is the best match for me, let me know. Just like comment below because I need to decide. Um, all right, you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much to Thin Hair Thick for um, creating these amazing pieces, offering comfortable, beautiful, innovative options for the people out there who need them. Um, you guys are amazing. You're down to earth. I just think you're incredible. And I'm so happy and honored and thrilled to have had the opportunity to share these pieces and get the information out there so that people who are looking for something like this, they can, they can find the information um, on the colors, on how to wear them, and whatever else. I hope this is helpful to you guys. If there's anything else that you guys um, have concerns or questions about, let me know. Just comment below or email me. Um, hit me up over there on Instagram, and until next time, I'll just see you guys later. Okay, bye.